You want them to feel happy. You want them to think you feel happy. You want them to forget about your shoulders and those fucking narrow hips. You want them to get so worked up that they'll stop. What the fuck? Get your hand off my shit. Oh, it's you. You, stay right there. Don't even think about sitting down. We're not finished. Leave her alone, asshole. Sure, whatever you say. What do you want, then? You here for a little taste? Tell you what, come back after midnight, maybe. I can hook you up. Or, uh, knowing you, she's probably not quite your style. You'd prefer someone who can take a bit of a beating. Tell me, do you prefer a stationary target, or one that will put up a fight? I'm not here for that. Ooh, I'm not here for that! <laughs> you just stopped in for the chips, then? Jesus, Bigby, you're so corny. I love it, though. No, seriously, I love it. Okay, all right, Sheriff. Just fucking with you. Look, I know why you're here. Who told you? Listen, Sheriff. Around here, we can't afford to wait for you and your swanky pals to take an interest. We have to look out for each other. When shit happens, I hear about it. Especially if it concerns my livelihood. In that case, I assume you knew Lily was glamour. Of course she was, you daft git. She was a troll. No. I mean glamour to look like another fable. Yeah? Well, so what? Who gives a toss? People get up to all kinds of things when nobody's watching. I think you're behind this. You got her a black market glamour as part of some twisted sex fantasy. Ooh. Black market, is it? How exciting. This is exactly what I would expect from a thug like you. Storm in, throw around a bunch of accusations, try to scare people. But you've got fuck all to back it up. And we're all just meant to jump any time the wolf shows his teeth. Get that out of my face. This was part of the glamour we found on Lily's body. Take a good look. She was impersonating Snow White. Why? You've got this all wrong. If Lily was doing a special glamour, it wasn't for me. For fuck's sake, I want that kind of eat. Who was she doing it for, then? She had clients, Bigby. Maybe one of them was into it. A lot of fucked up people in Fable Town. Like who? Try looking in the mirror. Anyway, now what to do with me? Go on, then! You're gonna hit me! Go ahead! Oh no, fuck! You! Take your sad fucking face where I can't see it! Bloody bastard fucking shit! You proud of yourself, mate? Proud of your little mess? Fuck's sake! Fuck off, Hans! Hey! Hans just cleans up and provides a little muscle when we need it. He's not gonna know anything about the girls and their clients or any of that. No one knows. Don't you get it? It's by design. Discretion is our guarantee, right? And the way we guarantee that is that no one knows anything they don't have to know. Including me. I cover my eyes and take my cut. End of story. Why not look it up? What's that? Isn't there a little book with all the stuff about the girls and all that written You're in it? You're a fucking moron! Show me. There is no book. And as for you, Hans, we need to work on your communication skills and have a fairly good idea where to start. Hey, that's my personal property. <laughs> sure, go ahead. Do what comes naturally. No! You 
unbelievable prick! Hey, now! You shouldn't have messed with that! Don't even think about it. Jesus, fuck! Do not touch that. You hear me? That's nothing to do with you. Well, well, what's this? Looks like a floor safe. I wouldn't know. It was here when we moved in. I don't have a key to it. Sheriff, will you come on? Fuck's sake, I've got to open up in a few hours. <laughs> Was it good for you, Sheriff? Next time, I'm gonna have to charge you. Jesus, you're killing me! I'm begging you. I'll pay you. Oh, for fuck's sake. Come on, mate. Leave it. There's nothing there for you. This is a dance club. What the hell am I supposed to do tonight while the girls are on stage? Harmonica, kazoo, whistle a happy tune, fucking unbelievable. Bloody come on then. Fucking trash my business over this bullshit. Protector of Fable Town, my ass. What a load of crap. Once again, don't get your hopes up. There's nothing in here that'll tell you anything. But it's a kick to the balls for me and my club, so we can be happy about that. Here, this is Lily's last entry. So tell me, Georgie, who's this Mr. Smith? Oh dear. I'm afraid it might be a fake name, Bigby. Secrecy is sort of how this all works. Even Hans knows that. What's 207? Room number? I don't fucking know. Millimeters, maybe? Don't bullshit me, Georgie. This is your book. Your girl. I'm not their fucking secretary. I give them a stage, I give them music, I provide an erotic venue to attract and retain clients. But let's be clear on something. The girls make the arrangements with their clients, not me. The girls. They're the ones with the Mr. Smiths, and Joneses, and Mr. X types. Whatever happens outside the club, that's on them. I log the business, take my cut, and I'm out. Now, I've had quite enough of you and your bullying. Excuse me while I call your superiors to make a complaint. Hello? Business office? Yeah, that's right. Faith, thanks for covering for me tonight. Let's talk before you go over to the apartment. Lily. Looks like they both saw one of Lily's clients. Lipstick, lip gloss, compact, glitter. Excuse me. I heard you out there. I don't remember ever seeing you here before. I didn't have a reason to come here before. Yeah. You're trying to place me. 
They used to call me the Little Mermaid. Once upon a time. Does that help? What do they call you now? Whatever makes them happy. My name is Nerissa. Well, Nerissa, I've got some questions. Of course you do. I don't have answers. You'll have to find those yourself. Did you see Lily last night? You know, where she went or who she was with? We can't talk about work. This is a murder case. I mean can't. These lips are sealed. Discretion is our guarantee. It's how things work here. I don't give a damn about your guarantee. I need you to cooperate. This is what I need to know about. Lily's last entry. Who's Mr. Smith? Where's room 207? I have to know. These lips... Sheriff Wolf, would you like to make an appointment with me? That's not why I'm here. We could make all the usual arrangements, the usual place. No, thanks. Stay here. Not two oh seven. You'll think of something. Open arms. Hmm. This is where they met. Enjoy your stay. I hope you find what you're looking for.